Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly review The Perfect Tower 2. This is a free-to-play game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program. It goes without saying that everything that you're about to see here, including this review, is subject to change. Well, I'll just be perfectly honest with you, this is a free-to-play game, and a pretty darn good one. Uh, in this game, you are going to be managing this town, and also engaging in tower defense mechanics. It's a town management game in the sense that you're going to be taking resources that you earn from your tower defense runs and building up your town a little bit at a time. You'll be unlocking new buildings, upgrading said buildings, you'll be um, earning modules that will allow you to make your tower defense runs a little bit easier. As far as the tower defense side of it, it's not a classic point A to point B tower defense style. Rather, you've got this pillar in the middle of the screen, and it'll shoot at things that are coming at it. And it's your job to protect it. Now, this is played out over a series of waves, and um, every wave enemies will just come at your tower. And on the left-hand side of the screen is the upgrade section. The modules that you have equipped can be upgraded as you play that particular run. Now, once the enemies overwhelm you and you lose, you're going to take the resources that you earn, bring it back to your town, and then upgrade it further. Again, you may want to unlock new buildings. You may want to take those modules that your tower has equipped and upgrade them so that the next run will be slightly easier. Or sometimes you'll unlock new modules. Uh, for example, you start off with just this basic attack. Um, you'll be upgrading that as you play in your run, but you might unlock um, a particular module that will provide you with uh, regeneration, or a module that whenever you attack someone, it's called Nature's Touch, whenever you attack someone, it'll do damage, a little bit of damage, but it also heals your tower for a small amount. So uh, you'll, you'll only be able to equip so many of these modules though. Right now I've got basic attack, multi-shot, and attack speed on the offensive side. On the defensive side, I've got stone foundation, elemental resistance, and basic regeneration. And then as far as utility, I've got wave resources. And so far, that's been working up pretty well for me. But again, as I find more modules that I'm going to like, I'm going to just throw them in there, swap some out. You can only have so many of these modules or blueprints equipped to your tower at once. So you have to kind of figure out what build you're going for. And again, um, upgrading these modules, they're called blueprints, I'm calling them modules. But whenever you upgrade them, you know, that costs resources. So you're going to have to continuously go on several tower defense runs to get these resources in the first place. The way the resources work in this game, you're going to be earning these white cubes as you play these tower defense runs. And then you're going to convert those white cubes, they're like boxes, into whatever building or resource that you're going to be needing them for. So for example, the mine is the orange box. You can convert white boxes into orange boxes. The orange boxes can be used to fuel your drill. Now, drill, the drilling in this game is as follows. Um, you start off like on the surface, and as you fill up the drill with fuel, which you need orange boxes for, uh, you need fuel for that, um, the deeper you go, the better your chances of finding materials that you can use at the factory, which is a different building you'll unlock, to craft things. Now, I haven't gotten that far yet. I recently just unlocked uh, skill points, and with skill points, I unlocked the ability to um, automatically mine uh, at a slow pace. So I'm, I'm digging deeper, even though I'm not even filling my drill with any fuel. That's kind of convenient. And the deeper you go, the better your odds of finding something. Like in the beginning, um, there's a 98% chance that you'll find nothing and maybe a 0.9% chance you'll find this. But the deeper you go, the better the percentages get. So that's kind of cool. So there's a mine with orange boxes. The factory uh, has red boxes. So again, there's a conversion like 150 white boxes to one red box. You know, you'll be converting those white boxes. Or um, the blue workshop. This is where the modules are housed. 
If you want to upgrade your modules slash blueprints, you have to convert 49 white boxes into a blue box, then spend those blue boxes on upgrading those modules. I have yet to unlock, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other areas for my town. And I've been playing for roughly two to three hours at this point. So I can only tell you what the game is like from like a two to three hour perspective. Um, from my understanding, you'll be able to better automate things in the future. But for right now, a lot of it is go into a tower defense run, keep an eye on the points that you're earning. You earn XP as you're playing, and then you spend that XP on your module upgrades for that run only. Um, and then when you die, you come back. So there's nothing like, it's not an idle game. You actually have to upgrade, uh, an upgrade in order to keep up with these waves. Um, and you're going to die repeatedly until you get strong enough to handle all 100 waves. In fact, I just did prior to me recording this video. I finally got easy, the difficulty easy uh, beaten on the one map. And there's plenty, there's different biomes and different difficulty levels associated with those biomes. Uh, there's an endless mode challenge. There is an idle mode, um, but I have not played that yet. So I guess long story short, this game has a ton of content. It's fun. I like base defense, tower defense, and um, idle games like, semi-idle games like this. And it's free to play to boot. Um, and again, there are skill points. So as you play the game overall, you earn skill points. And you can spend them across the different factories or the different buildings that you have, like your mine or at your factory, to better increase your odds at something. Like, for example, there's a skill upgrade in the mine um, where it increases all resource, resource shard, and gem rewards by 100%. Or the detector automatically reveals the content of one covered tile without digging it up every time a new layer is being generated. Or collapsing tunnels, um, passively drill one meter per hour even while offline. So, and then that's just the mind. You can spend skill points at the workshop, the construction firm, the factory, and the other structures that I have yet to unlock. Do I recommend this? Absolutely. Um, it is a good time waster. It's fun. Um, it, I know that this isn't everyone's cup of tea, but um, I'm, I, I have this in windowed mode and I'm watching Hulu and Amazon Prime movies while doing it and I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. It's great. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I have to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.